Afternoon Keto fam, Keto Kelly just getting her done coming in. What I'm going to make today is kielbasa with the tiniest head of cabbage I've ever seen in my life. So I need to cook it. So I'm going to do bacon and cabbage. But first I'm going to cut my kielbasa. Let me get the stove going. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in the bottom tablespoon probably. I'm going to put my kielbasa in the pan. It's about 12.30. Last night I ended up eating three soft boiled eggs and about five slices of bacon. I refrained from getting on the scale this morning, which was tough for me. So I saw a couple of people wanted to join the No Way May, which is awesome. Hopefully you can do it. <laughs> it's going to be rough for me. So, now let me cut the bacon. I got the all-natural Smithfield bacon. I don't know if I'll use this whole pack. Hmm. Since it's such a small head of cabbage, let me go ahead and use half the pack. I just cut it in half like this. I'll use the one with most of the fat. And I'm just going to go ahead and dice this. Can you guys see? Yeah, I'm just dicing it. Get my pan heated up. Gotta go in there. Get that cooked up. Give me one second to clean up the cutting board and the knife, and then we'll come back with the cat. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got my cutting board all cleaned up. I went ahead and peeled a small onion. I'm gonna use about half of the onion. And I'm going to throw that right in with my bacon. In the pot, I'm just browning the kielbasa. Alright, throw the onion right in there with that. What did I do with my... Brown that up real good. Oh, that smells so good. I got a little bit of the G. Hughes barbecue sauce left over. This is the, the honey one. I'm not particularly fond of this. It's the only one that I have. I normally like the hickory one. That's about half the container. And I think I'll just add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to add that right into my kielbasa. I'm going to let that boil up real good. Bacon is browning nicely. Can you guys see the bacon? I was listening to Mindy from Mindy's Life and Keto Queenie talking about oh, this dog. talking about do you have to eat organic to be keto? Not really. There's a lot of people out there who are pretty, you know, eh, about going straight organic for keto and you really don't. They are absolutely right about that. I mean, do what you can afford. Not the only thing that I do that's organic is the Kerrygold butter. That's it. I don't I don't buy any grass-fed beef. I don't none of that. I honestly 
this is probably the easiest way of eating I've ever been on and you don't have to buy all that. So, bacon is cooking down nicely. Got some nice good fats in there. The onions are starting to caramelize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my cabbage into bite-sized pieces. Or you can um, you can do the uh, the strings if you like. I prefer the bite-sized pieces for this anyway. If I was doing cabbage roll in a bowl or egg roll in a bowl or crack slaw, I'd do the you know the strips. But these are just you know bite just little bite-sized pieces. And this head of cabbage was pretty small. But, I mean, it's going to yield quite a few portions. I absolutely love raw cabbage. Alright. Let's get this in there. Take more of that. Salt. Not a lot because the bacon is fairly salty. I mean, you can always add salt to it after you cook it down if you need to. Pepper. I'm going to go to garlic. And I'm going to add some butter as well. A couple tablespoons of butter. Get all that yummy fat incorporated in the cabbage. So I'm going to let this cook down, and I'll come back in and show you where we're at. Okay guys, put her on a medium heat and let it start to cook down, and then I'll be right back to show you where it's at. Alright guys, I'm back, and the cabbage is cooking down real nice. You can turn the heat up a little bit. I'm just sort of steaming it right now. I did put a cover on it. To steam it down a little bit but I do kind of like a little bit of a crunch on mine so I will turn the heat up a little bit and put a little crunch on it all right I'm back I went ahead and hit it on high for a little bit just to give it a little bit of a crunch I did cover it and steamed it down with occasional stirring for about 20 minutes I've gone ahead and already portioned out a, a little bit of the kielbasa. Go ahead and put the cabbage on the plate. This is a pretty heavy first meal. I'll probably eat something light tonight around 4. So it's, it's 1 o'clock right now. So I put a little crunch on it. I love this. And I'm going to add a little bit of ACV, apple cider vinegar, to mine. I like mine with some apple cider vinegar. Maybe a little more. And that's what I'm coming in today for you guys, is just some kielbasa with some sugar-free barbecue sauce. You don't have to put barbecue sauce on it. I, you could just brown it up and eat it like that if you wanted. And some bacon and cabbage. So, this is what I'm going to eat right now. Probably won't do another vlog uh, this evening for what I'm eating. May just end up being a salad or something even lighter than that. I'm not sure right now, but this will hold me over for a little while. For a little while today. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.